Human-centric functional modeling is a way to build simple models that capture the behavior of complex systems so we can use those models to reach powerful new conclusions. This approach begins by defining some set of functions f as representing all functions of the human system that exist from a human-centric point of view. That is, all functions that are observable within innate human awareness. All terms used to describe these functions, terms like concept or fit, fitness, have the same intrinsic human meaning as in common usage. Represent the model of each function as having an input, an output, and other dependencies that we will call the function's context of execution. As an analogy within mathematics, in the function z equals ax squared plus by squared, the values of the variables x and y are inputs, and the constants a and b are the context. Defining a domain as a set of functions that act on a single class of inputs and outputs, we can then identify a set of domains that the functions of the human system are divided into. One domain is the body with its sensory inputs and outputs. Another is the emotional system with emotions as inputs and outputs. Then there is the cognitive system with concepts as inputs and outputs, and the consciousness with awarenesses as inputs and outputs. If a system can be transformed by a set of functions, and all the functions map to and from the same domain, then all the states accessible through those functions form a functional state space. Through executing its functions, the system moves through that functional state space. Looking at the cognitive system, if all reasoning processes can be represented in this simple functional way, then by executing these reasoning processes, the cognitive system can be seen as moving through a functional state space in which each state is a concept, thereby defining a space of concepts or conceptual space. We observe our conceptual space to be open in the sense that we can add new concepts to it. To create a system model with an open conceptual space, a minimal set of, of cognitive functions must be defined that can be validated as being complete and therefore validated as having the capacity to span that space so that with them, all other cognitive functions can be represented. We also observe that we can be aware of a concept and from that conceptual awareness, we can actively reason or passively understand our way to awareness of a different concept. To create a system model with the potential to navigate an open conceptual space, a cognitive awareness process that detects where the cognitive system is in that conceptual space and that decides which cognitive process, that is which reasoning or, or understanding process to execute, must also be defined. Since its functions don't spontaneously appear or disappear, the cognitive system is observed to have stability in its fitness to execute its functions. Representing this fitness to execute cognitive functions as a, as a position in fitness space, then the cognitive system must be confined to a bounded region in this fitness space as it moves through the open and unbounded conceptual space. Assume that this fitness space can be defined by three factors we can observe as having an influence on the direction of our thoughts, namely the impact of what we want to conclude, the impact of what we guess we will conclude, and the impact of what we are actually concluding. Or in other words, defining our level of fitness to achieve all our cognitive functions as our level of cognitive well-being we then define this fitness space in terms of targeted impact on well-being, projected impact on well-being, and actual impact on well-being. The dynamics of the cognitive system in fitness space must be globally stable in being confined to a bounded region. But the dynamics must also be chaotic because the cognitive system can conceptualize the environment, and the environment can change randomly. Assuming the simple model that each cognitive process has an output, that has an outcome in terms of impact on cognitive fitness or well-being, then in order to maintain stability and fitness, the awareness process by which the cognitive system becomes aware of the current cognitive state and by which the cognitive system selects cognitive processes to navigate to a new state, this awareness process must be constrained by these globally stable dynamics to be within a bounded region of fitness space. To implement the dynamics of the cognitive awareness process in fitness space, we can then simply select a set of equations, 
equations uh, satisfying these globally stable, locally unstable dynamics, uh, such as the Lorentz equations for convection. Having defined the dynamics that must represent the cognitive system in fitness space, having identified an equation representing those dynamics, then once we've defined the impact on fitness of any cognitive processes as each traces a given path through conceptual space, we can then define an AGI algor algorithm. This algorithm will select and execute reasoning processes that push fitness in a way that produces dynamics in fitness space which approximate that equation while, while moving through the conceptual space. In terms of conceptual space, a problem is defined as a gap between an initial set of concepts and a targeted set of final concepts. Assuming that a set of concepts can be represented as a concept itself, then the initial and final sets of concepts are both single points in conceptual space. A solution is then the reasoning through which the cognitive system can navigate between those two points. From this perspective, general problem solving ability is the ability to navigate the conceptual space in a, con in a sustainable way so that it's possible to navigate from any problem to its solution. And in this simple functional model, motion through the, through the human conceptual space in this globally stable way is human-like intelligence. By defining everything cognition can do using a simple functional model that can be confirmed to be complete, then all models of AI or AGI containing valid functions of cognition can potentially be represented in, in terms of these functional components. Whether those functional components are models of reasoning processes and the impact of their outcomes on cognitive well-being in different contexts, whether they are AI solutions that implement a narrow set of those reasoning processes, or whether an AGI that attempts to implement a broader set, any functionality implemented by any researcher then becomes part of a single larger implementation of AGI. By taking the most fit component at achieving each function, all research and development might then converge on the functionality most fit in representing the observed functions of cognition. In conclusion, in a human-centric functional modeling approach, all current AI or AGI approaches then potentially become processes that might be added to a library that such a meta-model of AGI might use to increase its general problem-solving ability.